A closer look at Jinping Mai, Chapter 1. The prologue is slightly open. The opening chapter of Jinping Mai sets the tone. As usual, there is a poem that goes back to the previous poem. As usual, it is to persuade people to do good. As usual, it is the common approach of persuading people to be literary in the Ming Dynasty. The slight difference is that there is no wine, sex, and wealth at the same time, but only money and sex. There is no way, this is a gray or even black story of wealth and sex. Although both are tragedies, Jinping Mai and A Dream of Red Mansions are fundamentally different. A Dream of Red Mansions was written in stone, but the purpose was to establish a biography for the Budoyer and could not bear to bury the virtuous ones. So the creator's mentality is much better. The tone is light, lively, playful, and self-deprecating. Compared with Jinping Mai, it can even be considered more positive. There are only a few strange women among them. Some are passionate. Some are crazy. Some are talented and slightly good. Although I dare not say that they are better than all the people in the previous books. Their deeds can also relieve sorrow and boredom. And there are also a few familiar poems. If so, you can spray rice and drink wine. The outline of the story of Jinping Mai is like life and death at that time. There was a family who was once rich and noble, but later became very miserable. They had no use for their tactics and wisdom. They had no relatives, friends or brothers to rely on, and they could not enjoy it for more than a few years. Ronghua has become a target for many words. There were a few pet lovers, vying with each other, and flirts, who were charming at first. But later ended up with corpses lying across the lamplight, and the empty room stained with blood. No wonder it is said that reading Jinping Mai will give rise to the heart of a bodhisattva. Desolation, blood stains. The author just lies in your ear and yells that this book is miserable. Sure enough, someone died the first time. This chapter is called, Zyman Kinger married ten brothers. Wu Erlang met his brother and sister-in-law coldly. But the first ten brothers to be sworn in were not Huaziksu, but a man named Bujidao, who died just after the introduction. In addition to him, there was another person who was seriously ill and about to die. She was Zyman King's third concubine, named second sister, Juo. This arrangement is very particular. The ten brothers are Zyman King's social relationships. The concubine is Zyman King's private life. Both the outside and the inside are damaged. Of course, these two people are not important, and they died as lightly as a feather. The author wrote lightly, and Zyman King also acted lightly. They were still hot, very exciting and lively. This kind of lightness and indifference, without any fanfare, left everyone indifferent. But it is stagnant, closed, and unable to break free. Like a sword hanging above your head, it runs through the entire work. But it's a virus, and its name is fate. Gradually expand, from the outside to the inside. Death is all too common, and living people have to continue to struggle to live. There are two versions of Jinping Mai. The early version was called the C.I. Hua version, also called the Wanli version, and the current version is called the Chongzhen version. The beginning of the script basically copies several scenes from Water Margin, in which Wu Song fights a tiger and meets his brother and sister-in-law, almost unchanged. And Zyman King will also appear slowly according to the writing method of water margin. The Chongzhen version changed the order of the C.I. Hua version and mentioned Ten Brothers, Riji, in the first chapter. It is a good structural adjustment to get rid of the overly in-depth influence of water margin on this book. And let the main characters of this book meet the readers first so as to facilitate the subsequent plot development. So, this time, we saw the shrewdness in Zyman King's generosity, the calculation in Wu Yuenyang's nagging, the helplessness in Earl Ying's humor, the scheming in Dian's intelligence. We discovered that, you can't see the person by hearing the voice, Li Pinger seems to be the head of the Hua family. 
It is expected that Sister Li Gi, who, hears her name, but never sees her, will have a very important story. Except for Zyme and King, these people have never appeared in water margin, but they must be preconceived. A cut must be made with water margin. At this point, the structure has been completed, the characters have been set, and the clues have emerged. Moreover, the tiger was also killed. Of course, the story still starts when Pan Jinlian meets Wu Song. Yes, it's not Wu Song meeting Pan Jinlian, but Pan Jinlian meeting Wu Song. In Jin Ping Mai, Wu Song is a complete supporting role, while Pan Jinlian is the leading heroine. Accordingly, compared with Water Margin, the background images of Pan Jinlian and Wu Daling have been greatly adjusted. It changed Pan Jinlian's personality and highlighted Wu Daling's cowardice and vulgarity. In Water Margin, Pan Jinlian did not want to be adopted by Jiang Dahu. Out of revenge, Jiang Dahu preferred to give her a dowry and gave her to Wu Daling, the three-inch Dingu tree bark. Although his life is miserable, he is a good boy who has ambition and dares to fight. But in Jin Ping Mai, after she was adopted by Jiang Dahu, her mistress was jealous and wanted to kick her out. Zhang Dahu also paid her a dowry and married her off to a 12-year-old man who lived next door. Wu Daling, who called Yinger's daughter, made it easier for him to continue walking. This kind of moving around continued until Zhang Dahu died of illness and they did not move. This is willing adultery, but Wu Daling, from beginning to end, dare not speak out. Therefore, the same Wu Song appeared, the same spring heart sprouted, and love grew. In water margin, Pan Jinlian is relatively pure. In Jin Ping Mai, the author hints more. The prologue is slightly opened, and the main text is about to begin. A closer look at Jin Ping Mai, Chapter 2, Pan Jinlian's Two Love Affairs. Everyone is familiar with the story of Pan Jinlian seducing Wu Song, tough guy. When she first met Wu Song, Jin Lian was already in love with her. She was thinking about her future marriage, but she wasn't too impatient to fall in love. She served Wu Song happily every day for tea and dinner, and this attentiveness made Wu Song feel very sorry. On that day, it was cold and snowy outside, and the wine was warmed by the stove inside. Jin Lian thought that her usual attentiveness and thoughtfulness would finally come naturally. The concubine is interested, but the man is not. Wu Song first grabbed the wine and said, Sister-in-law, don't be so shameless. Then he pushed him again. War is an upright man with teeth and hair, not a pig or dog that corrupts customs and hurts human ethics. Sister-in-law, don't do it for such shameless activities. If there is any trouble, I, War, will recognize her as my sister-in-law with my eyes, but not my sister-in-law with my fists. In Wu Song's eyes, Jin Lian is just a woman who belongs to his brother. The ugly wife is close to the earth and the family treasure. And the charming charm and cleverness of the Golden Lotus are nothing more than a source of trouble. He sternly rejected Jin Lian's seduction and did not say anything in front of Wu University. He was well aware of the drawbacks of his brother's marriage. When he was about to go on a business trip, he specifically told Wu University to leave late and return early, and to be cautious about the family. He also deliberately beat Jin Lian. Dang Jinlian's confession echoes Wu Song's manly declaration, I am a man without a turban, a woman with a tinkling sound. I can stand up like a man with my fists, and walk like a horse with my arms. It's not that the pus and blood can't be scratched out, turtle. Ever since I married Wu Da, ants dare not enter the house. What kind of weak fence can dogs get in? Stop talking nonsense, every sentence will be traced. Leave a brick, one by one, you have to hit the ground too. In front of Wu Song, whom she had seduced. These words sounded funny, but they had Pan Jinlian's own feelings. At least in her mind she is not just a random woman. She was sold to Jiang Dahu as a last resort. She was married to Wu University as a last resort. 
She had never set eyes on the wandering children on Purple Stone Street. It's a pity that Wu Song ignored him. He just wanted to use Pan Jinlian's spirit to use provoking methods to firmly nail Pan Jinlian. To the position of the woman of Wuhan University, it would be best if my sister-in-law makes the decision. As long as my heart and mouth match. In this case, I, Wu Song, remember what my sister-in-law said. And I asked for this cup. Such stubbornness made Pan Jinlian cry and curse. Pan Jinlian's world is actually very simple, please, men. She painted her eyebrows, painted her eyes with powder, applied bamboo and silk, worked as a needleworker, and knew how to read and write. She learned pipa and sang songs. All her talents were just like her delicate little feet. She became a man, favorite stunner. Wu Song was the first man to reject her charm, but she didn't believe it. She neither believed that there were men in the world who were not lustful, nor did she believe that the charm of her beauty had failed. So Wu Song came to warn her before going on a business trip. She thought it was Wu Song's regret. Her future death also came from this disbelief. Wu Song's golden words accidentally opened up the fate between Pan Jinlian and Ziman King. The encounter between Pan Jinlian and Ziman King is a classic romance, just like the most beautiful chance encounter in the drama. The spring light is bright, the beautiful woman lowers the curtain, and is locked in loneliness. The fork pole in his hand was blown by the wind and fell squarely on the man's head. The man turned his head away in anger and turned his head in anger. One smiled and bowed, the other sang loudly. Eyes wandering, desire suddenly arises. Zyman King is a man of action. If he wants to succeed, he naturally needs the help of three aunts and six wives. When Jinlian and Zyman King met for the first time, she laughed and said, which high-ranking official has ever been under this roof? It's just right, she is the soul of this time. The character of Po Wang is like Po Zhu in Zhang Xingji meets again in Pearl Shirt or Iago in Shakespeare's works. These people are masters of psychological manipulation. Zhu Po spent several months to get San Qiaoer, who was devoted to her husband, to commit adultery with Chen Dalin. She relied on her meticulous skills and understanding of people's psychology. Po Wang's job was much less difficult, but she still whetted Ziman King's appetite. The two of them are also matched against each other. Grandma Wang never let go of the rabbit before she saw it. She let Ziman King walk in front of her house seven or eight times, from ordering plum soup to hee hee soup. It wasn't until Ziman King gave him one or two pieces of silver that she asked Ziman King what he was thinking. As for Ziman King, although he is extremely horny, his shrewdness and ability as a businessman have not faded. Just like Zhang Jupo's comment, the two of them have the same thoughts, can't express them, can't let go, and can't stand it, so they have many vernacular words intermittently. The text is quite beautiful. Pan Jinlian's relationship with Wu Song was motivated by strong vitality and instinctive desire. Pan Jinlian's relationship with Ziman King was a money and sex transaction between Wang Po and Ziman King. The desire for life is suppressed by ethics, but money and sex transactions can flow unimpeded. The opening line of Jin Ping Mai says, wealth and sex. Money is related to color, and sex is also related to love. Love and sex have always been extremely difficult to separate. Just as Jing Huan said, the meeting in Wuxian, the joy of clouds and rain, are all caused by the feeling of being pleased with the color and falling in love with it again. However, just as instinct and emotion is civilization, so even if you are lustful, you often need to rely on emotion, not to hide one's ugliness. After all, love, as a civilizational myth, is both redemptive and corrupting. Even though Pan Jinlian is a true love, readers also hope that she once had true love. Just like the song sings, I have a love, sing it to everyone. They like to watch stories of good women turning bad and bad women turning good, which is the key to transformation. Often it's love. However, has love really come? A closer look at Jinping Mai, Chapter 3, 
the wonderful human drama. This is premeditated and planned, as well as strategies and steps, based on the present and looking to the future. People can't help but admire, Ginger is still spicy when old. Lao Zhang is the king's wife. Wang Po, this old Ginger didn't become a master in a day. When a man died at the age of 36, leaving his orphans and widows to roam the world. The king's wife had to refine a diamond even if she didn't have one. So it's not a big deal to talk about sex work, acupuncture and pulse checking, waist tightening, buying and selling, and also human trafficking to fuck the midwife. Life has forcibly turned Wang Po into a compound talent. People who are used to walking in the world have never experienced this. Therefore, as soon as Simon King arrived, Po Wang knew that this was a deal that was delivered to her door. Wang Po's shrewdness stems from her understanding of people and human nature, so she knows how to act appropriately. A person's name, the shadow of a tree. She knew exactly who Simon King was, although Mrs. Wang has not met the so-called Pan Donkey and Deng Jiaoxian in person. She understands it, so it is expected that they hit it off immediately. But the focus is on the next thing after Pan Donkey Deng Jiaoxian, that is, being willing to spend money. When ghosts and ghosts meet ghosts and elves, there will be no rabbit but no hawk. When Simon King first came, he brought one tail of silver with him in the name of repaying the money he owed for tea. Later, he promised to thank him for five tails of gold, but no real money was found. Wang Po had no choice but to resort to the method of boiling the eagle and said let's talk about it and see you again in half a year and three months. When dealing with masters, Tai Kai is just a warm-up. Sooner or later, you have to open the sky and speak frankly. As soon as Wang Po showed her sword, Simon King showed his trump card. The promise came true, twelve tails was no problem, and he promised to buy a coffin for Mrs. Wang. Simon King had not yet become rich at that time, so it was understandable that he was cautious about spending money. And what Wang Po wanted was not a one-time deal. To catch the big fish, she had to cast a long line. As the saying goes, good things take a long time, so think long term. So be prepared from the beginning and turn one plan into ten. Wang Po knows very well that women have deep thoughts. A woman chases a man, separated by a layer of gauze. A man chases a woman, separated by a mountain. Just like in a dream of red mansions, Yuner said to Zhu Pan, You are a careful man, how can you get through if I don't? If a woman doesn't do something willingly, no matter how hard she tries, it will be in vain. Even if you make the previous trip, if you are a little careless during the process, you may still fall short of the success. So whether the nine nothings and ten points of light are fulfilled in sequence, Zimon King can see the fate. While Wang Po herself can reap the benefits and make sure she doesn't lose anything. The rest is up to Pan Jinlian. Wang Po went away with a bang. Wang Po had already secured victory before she left. She naturally understood Pen Jinlian as a person, otherwise she would not have casually recognized her as her daughter-in-law. How to break the window paper? It has to come from human nature. Mrs. Wang went to Pan Jinlian's house to borrow a calendar. Borrowing the calendar is not the zodiac, it is to make Pen Jinlian fall into a trap. So she staged a painful love drama. He said that he was in his dying years and his only son was not living up to expectations. Fortunately, he met a benefactor, so he left a coffin and prepared for his funeral. Wang Po's role was well performed. Well done. It kills two birds with one stone. First, to win Pan Jinlian's sympathy, and second, to inspire her vanity. It is human compassion to pity the poor and she guessed that Pan Jinlian was kind-hearted in nature. Vanity is Pan Jinlian's desire for her own worth to be affirmed, because she always harbors grievances. So Pan Jinlian agreed immediately. Not only did he agree, he even promised a good life. However, she didn't know that what she wanted to achieve was not the good deeds of Wang Po, but her own good deeds. This is called reincarnation, everyone pays for himself. 
So far, so good. The roles were assigned and everyone appeared on stage. Some were sober and some were confused. Only the sound of a man from Wuhan University cooking cakes came from afar. The tragedy of Wuhan University is left for the finale. Switch the camera and a comedy scene begins. The curtain opens and the protagonist appears. It was a stunning appearance for each other. Both men and women were shocked. Now, while they are in a daze, a flashback brings up the old things again. I think there was a prequel to this drama, but it was aborted due to the male lead quitting the show. It was Wu Song who stopped performing. An upright man. I remember that at that time, with a majestic figure and a majestic appearance. He was able to fight a tiger with his bare hands on Jingyanggang, but he could still weigh hundreds of kilograms. This kind of man, as reflected in his sister-in-law Jin Lion's eyes, couldn't be more dashing. In comparison, the three-inch nail valley tree bark next to him looked almost human and ghost-like. But who would have expected that although Wu Song is a good character, he is not Jin Lianer's cup of tea. Wu Song was born in the year of Ox, and he has a truly bullish temperament. Pan Jinlian, who was born in the year of the dragon, thought that she was also a woman who could stand on her fists, a horse on her arms, and a man who didn't wear a turban. Tenderness is given to the ruins. When Wu Song faced Pan Jinlian, he bowed his head three times. The final push was strong, but embarrassing. From the perspective of life energy, Wu Song lost. Wu Song could push Pan Jinlian eight feet away, but in terms of human feelings and romance, he could not be on the same level as Pan Jinlian. Pan Jinlian's opponent is Zymon King. Pan Jinlian is a dragon and Zymon King is a tiger. Only a dragon-tiger fight can create a good show. After fighting with Zymon King, she passively became Pan Jinlian. Facing Zymon King, she lowered her head seven times in a row each time becoming more ambiguous than the last. The so-called 10 light strategy is a trick with 10 twists and turns. With 5 to 5, in the first half, T was the main prop. Why? Because of the elegance of T, it can dispel alertness, create intimacy between gentle sips, and allow you to speak eloquently. Each of them introduced their life experience to create a topic. The topic continued, and the topic came to Zyman King's son-in-law. Talking about son-in-law is not to talk about son-in-law, but to talk about matchmaking. When talking about matchmaking, we have to start with the matchmakers in the past. Po Wang was the matchmaker between Zyman King and Wu Yuinyang. Looking back on the past and looking forward to the future is to establish a foothold in the present. Just like Simon King drank from sour plum soup to hee hee soup. Sour and sweet, gradually getting better, with Mrs. Wang touching her face as a sign, the first half came to an end. It was time for the wine to come out. So at the beginning of the second half, Wang Po went to buy wine and meat. There were only one man and one woman left in the room, and when they glanced at each other, their hormones were like a spring breeze. How come life suddenly becomes beautiful? Zyman King and Pan Jinlian spoke one sentence after another. One is affectionate, and the other is shy. Oops. The most important thing is the gentleness of bowing his head. Looking back on that time, that guy Wu -er was really hateful. This is what flirting should look like right now. A woman's passivity is precisely her initiative. Pan Jinlian was straightforward with Wu Song at first using her identity as sister-in-law to provide cover. But instead, it brought pressure and made it easy for her to use excessive force. Now showing herself as her daughter, Pan Jinlian has finally become her true self. At the right time, Mrs. Wang came. Wang Po brought wine and meat. Food and drink and desire are twin brothers. Wine enters the soft intestines. If the wine is not intoxicating, everyone will get drunk. The wine warms the ears and melts the blockage in the heart. Wang Po threaded the needle without leaving a trace, but Zyman King found every opportunity to make trouble. Zyman King said, The first lady is so smart and smart, and no matter how reassuring it is, Bob is dead, which makes her very sad. Wu, 
who later filled in the house, was sick, and not very good at taking care of things. So the house was left without an owner, and the house was in ruins. Nowadays, there are three to five or seven people around me who are eating and doing nothing. Then he further used the topic to say that the second aunt Li Jiaoer was not good at housekeeping. The third aunt, Zhuo Daiyuer, had recently died, and as for Zhang Zikin on the street, he was a stranger. If you look carefully at these words, they have profound meaning. First, he talks about the goodness of his first wife, Mrs. Chen, to prove that he is nostalgic and affectionate. Then he talks about the incompetence of others showing his helpless situation. And when he expresses his disregard for Lu Qi, he flaunts his noble interests. Come to think of it, this is also a familiar routine. Whenever a man intends to seduce a good woman, he must first gain sympathy and understanding. Especially when faced with a woman like Pan Jinlian, she can empathize with the misfortune of a bad job. So she mobilizes her inner desire for redemption. And women are more likely to do this. Because of her motherly nature, she will want to save the person in front of her from prison. Zyman King's words were true, but he didn't expect that the famous Fulan disciples in Kin County would turn out to be pitiful. Presumably, Pan Jinlian's heart was overflowing with love at that time, right? Zyman King, Wang Po, is a master who understands the ways of human nature. Come to think of it, Pan Jinlian was certainly obsessed with desire. But her kindness and simplicity are the biggest flaw in her life. As for the viciousness and cruelty, that was a gift from later experiences. A sip of wine is an assist. Now, it's just a matter of two cups of wine, final touch. Mrs. Wang went to drink again. This time, Zyman King donated all the scattered silver. A long shot sends Wang Po away. And the rest is a close-up of Zyman King and Pan Jinlian. Tea makes a match, wine serves as a matchmaker, and a chopstick comes out of the wall again. I think these chopsticks came from the same bamboo as the fork that hit Zyman King's head. How come it comes back? But the parts have been changed. Last time it was the head. This time, it, it's the feet. Between the head and the feet are two naked bodies. The dragon is strong, and the tiger is fierce. It turns out that they were enemies in the previous life. Take advantage of the climax to have a montage and review the beautiful journey. These three people seem to be in harmony and share the same beauty, but in fact, they have their own agendas and what they want. What Wang Po wants is money, Zyman King wants a body, and Pan Jinlian wants to fill the loneliness, emptiness, and coldness. Wang Po's brilliance is to spend other people's money to do her own things and make others willing and grateful. With the house money secured and money saved for marrying a wife, mother and son can hope to be reunited. Even the funeral arrangements are settled, and the future is indeed promising. Wang Po repeatedly asked Zyman King to be willing to spend money. But what Zyman King spent before and after was only a dozen tails of silver. But what he got in return was a stunning beauty. Wang Po and Zyman King have different goals, but different means to achieve the same goal. What they are driven to use is nothing more than that thing called human nature. Only Pan Jinlian didn't get a penny, and instead got 300 coins of his own. But it was worth it. Only then did I see what a man is like. The rich contribute money, the powerful contribute efforts, and the poor do errands and talk, and everyone seems to have a happy ending. Grandma Wang who went out to drink, will she be back soon? There must be a smile on her face, right? The sequel is already planned. On the road, right? However, people cannot escape the darkness under the lamp. In a moment of comedy and tragedy, the coffin is already there. But can she have the last laugh? A closer look at the fourth chapter of Jinping Mai Everyone has their own way of living. The Ten Light Strategy seems cumbersome in terms of accomplishing good things. After all, it's just a matter of bastard versus Meng Bean. But you can only appreciate the lingering meaning if you look carefully. Just like the way to eat Wuan Duck Neck and Chengdu Rabbit Head, the taste is all in the slurping and intertwining touches. Another example is listening to music. 
Listening through water is an advanced way of playing, but getting straight to the point is a rough idea. Beautiful things always have to be postponed. It is an affair, the joy of stealing, and secretly communicating. As a composite talent, Wen Po is well versed in this, and her scheduling is consistent and well controlled, which is no less impressive than a first-rate director. Foreplay is enough. Now, just as the gong sounds to kick off the show, Wang Po retreats behind the scenes and the stage is handed over to the two protagonists. Different from Jin Lian's initiative in the previous scene where Jin Lian and Wu Erjian played against each other. It was Simon King who took control of the situation this time. Women are not just a gender. They have to experience the spring wind and rain in a person with the same energy before they can understand the secret. This is something that women themselves often cannot detect. In front of Zyman King, Jin Lion might be surprised by her tenderness, right? When he lowered his head and fiddled with his skirt, he bit the cuffs of his shirt. So loudly that he almost wanted to swallow them in one gulp. Now that she has lost her identity as wife and sister-in-law, and returned to her true nature as a daughter, she smiles seven times, lowers her head, and glances sideways. When I was in front of war, I used too much force, which hurt my face and my self-esteem. Fortunately, Zyman officials know what they are doing. Thinking of this, a touch of shyness can overcome countless people in the world. No wonder Zyman King was so hot that he had to take off his green gauze pleats. This is a design movement and an honesty of the body. Taking off clothes is to caress the chopsticks. The chopsticks are a well-chosen prop. Chopsticks are also chopsticks. Because it is homely and friendly, it is also ambiguous. Therefore, picking up food may seem like a simple concern, but between relatives, it is ordinary, but for those who are in love, it has a deep meaning. Perhaps the saliva on the chopsticks is equivalent to the exchange of body fluids between the hands. Although Simon King and Pan Jinlian did not make any such move at this moment. Their thoughts were entangled in the atmosphere created by the chopsticks. But here, chopsticks go a step further and play the role of matchmaker. Then a chopstick jumped out from under the table, and a pair of three-inch golden lotuses were ready to come out. In traditional culture, women's small feet have long been given sexual connotations. Because the little feet have to maintain balance when walking, the body sways, just like a lotus willow in the wind. And because it is hidden it is shameful. Shame and sexiness have always been inextricably linked. The pleasure of shame brought about by breaking taboos has its indescribable qualities for both men and women. Now, Zyman is looking for chopsticks, and the golden lotus is guided by the trend. The point it leads is towards the pomegranate skirt, and there are three inches of golden lotus under the skirt. With just one kick, spring came to an end. Zyman pinched her out of instinct, just like Jin Lion pinched Wu'er's shoulder. It was out of control. Zyman King fell to his knees. He is not a martial artist after all. At this time, the golden lotus, wind, and moon were seen. The woman spread her hands and said, You're such a clingy bastard. But I'm going to give you a big slap. It's the same as, officials don't want Luo Su. Are you really trying to seduce me? In water margin, and then she took the initiative to hug me. Different. The ear scraper of Golden Lotus is the best aphrodisiac. What makes people want to stop is the desire to welcome, but also the rejection. If you want to play, play it thrillingly. Jin Lion's way of doing this would not be inconsistent with his previous bowed smile and side glance. Otherwise, the charm created by the previous Ten Light plan would be gone. The more shy and passive Jin Lion becomes, the more horny Zyman becomes, and the more swaying her flirtation becomes. If Golden Lotus is too proactive, then in Zyman, the sense of satisfaction that comes from the ups and downs will be greatly reduced. While Zyman knelt down, he said something that sounded quite familiar to him, My a wife is pitiful for the little man. This is the habit of the prodigal son. As soon as these words came out, Kim Jong and Jia Lion in red mansions. 
and a number of characters in Three Words and Two Pats came to life. Come to think of it, women's kind nature is their natural weakness, which becomes a sharp sword against themselves. Under the cover of lust, the maternal nature in the subconscious is stimulated without knowing it. The next action is a matter of course, and she must be taken into her arms to comfort and caress her. The prodigal snickered in their hearts and succeeded lightly. It doesn't matter whether Jin Lion's surname is Wu or Du. Zyman King's heavy breathing echoed along with the shouts of Wu Da selling cooking cakes. The next plot needs to be imagined. What needs to be explained here is that, contrary to stereotypes, the author has not tied himself up because of the metaphorical tone of Pink Skull, and still gives this love of fish and water a certain degree of life. Aesthetics. The choice of words in the brushstrokes is quite elegant without being vulgar. From a humanistic perspective, it is tolerance. After all, putting aside secular moral concepts, it was Jin Lion who met a real man for the first time. For a young, beautiful and talented woman, the pursuit of happiness is understandable, and the yearning for physical pleasure is also natural. As for Zyman, there were three or four clumsy wives in the family at that time, but none of them liked him. Although it is a cliché, it is also true. After all, they are not comparable to Golden Lotus. As a prominent figure with money, means and capital, I have long been depressed and longed for for a long time. Now that I finally get what I want, isn't it a joy in life? This is dry firewood meeting fierce fire. One bids farewell to the softness of nose and pus, and the spirit of dragon and horse dances with silver snakes and guns. Only you and me are left. The performance of Golden Lotus and Zyman is worthy of the author's classical elaboration, and they do not let down the author's kindness. Although the leading actor was entranced by the scene and lost his emotions, the director remained calm and watched for a long time. With a bright sound, Mrs. Wang pushed the door open and entered. Wang Po came at a good time, when the clouds had stopped raining. But her extra scene went on as schedule. The so-called extra drama is not included in the Ten Lights plan. But it is by no means a whim influenced by the protagonist's devotion. For Wang Po, Wuxian Yunyu is certainly exciting, but what she considers is not just the ratings she is the only one watching, but the output. And she wants a long-term deal. In Zyman and Jinlian, it was unexpected. But in Wang Po, it was just routine. So it is natural to pull and take out the golden lotus. The hairpins and handkerchiefs exchanged with each other are tokens, but also witnesses. I have the handle so I'm not afraid that you won't listen to me. I'll tell you to come early, and I'll tell you to come late. If you don't come, I won't agree. But whether people come or not is not the important point. Money is the key. Wang Pa's calculation was good, and it was indeed a good deal. Even the mother in the brothel had to be slapped and given a piece of candy. But at this time, if she didn't provide food and clothing to the head, someone would come to give money to her at no cost. She would sit at the door and shake her fan, and the fan would come to her. The air is sweet. One stone falls, ah, there are so many birds huffing and puffing. Maybe Wang Po is so beautiful that her liver will tremble, right? The first time it was new, the second time it was familiar, the third time it was already a head-to-head -head meeting. On this day, Wang Po went to Wu's family to borrow a ladle. Borrowing a gourd is not borrowing a gourd, but actually borrowing a prostitute. While coaxing Wu Da out of the house, Jin Lion walked out of the back door. Before leaving, she did not forget to warn Yinger, the orphan of Wu Da, tell the news, otherwise the lower half will be knocked off. Wuan University welcomes its son and daughter. It's really sad that his mother opened the door for him, and he's home. But what's even more tragic is what lies behind. Who would have thought that something would happen? The trouble lies with Brother Yun, who sells pears. Brother Yun traveled around the streets and alleys to support his father. And he often got some benefits from Zyman officials, paying him some money. Normally, Zyman was kind to him. But now, he repays his kindness with hatred. But how? 
It was too late to tell, but it was too soon. I was my pimp, and you were selling your pears. Who knew you were going to break in? When I finally found out the truth, I almost shed tears. Grandma Wang never dreamed of it. In the clear sky, and in broad daylight, something bad happened. One's face is yellow with anger, but it is not wax to protect against the cold. The other is full of talk, but has no good words to say. If we disagree, we will fight each other. Brother Yun obviously overestimated his own strength. Wang Po was also old and strong, and still had a lot of strength. Three times five divided by two left Brother Yun crying and cursing while picking pears and baskets. With the four sides, the picture is so vivid that it can't help but make people feel sympathetic. After all, Brother Yun still has the author's word, righteousness, at his head. But righteousness in the hands of Brother Guan is the righteousness of spring and autumn period. But in the hands of Brother Yun it becomes spring and autumn writing style. Brother Yun quarreled with Mrs. Wang because Wang Po robbed him of his business. The only reason to hit the door was to have the handle in hand, but there was no need to risk ruining the good deeds of Ziman officials. However, the adultery between Ziman and Jin Lion had already been a storm in the city, so the sense of justice would not suddenly be overwhelming. Brother Yun's righteousness was like the pears in his basket rolling to the ground. Brother Yun seems to be reckless, but in fact, he is just like Wang Po. He still wants to take a long-term approach to catch big fish. It's a pity that he is a pear seller, but not a ginger seller. I don't know how spicy ginger is. During a fight, pears rolled all over the street, and Brother Yun had already received several blows on the head, so there was quite a stir. However, the author did not write a few words about the neighborhood, but thunder was rolling in the silent place. If he did not write anything here, he would write in capital letters. The author was cold and cold, and he saw the infinite coldness. Wang Po facilitated the adultery between Ziman and Jin Lion, not for money because of Ma Bo Liu's adult beauty. And Brother Yun's righteousness is just a new look. The big evil of Wang Po meets the small evil of Brother Yun. In the confrontation between the two evils, it seems that they are incompatible and both sides suffer, but they have the same conspiracy. Reminds me of a sentence, hands split the road between life and death. All for survival, everyone has their own way of living. Some people were lively, and some were violent. Everyone has to pay for their own way of living. At that time, how many people were happy, and how many were melancholy? Alright, this part of the story ends here. Want to know what happened next? Let's listen to the breakdown next time.